Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spare Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to check out some of the improvements that I made on the DIY budget Steam Deck. So let's get started. Now, I do want to give a shout out to my sponsor, which is PCBWay. Now, if you're into DIY projects like prototyping, PCB, 3D printing, casting, anything like that, look no further than PCBWay. Now, they have an online calculator where you can get your quotes within minutes. Basically, anything for a hobbyist to start manufacturing. Best of all, they also offer free shipping. So if you're looking into manufacturing your projects, look no further than PCBWay. Now, back to the video. So the concept of the budget DIY Steam Deck, this is the general idea of how I want it to look. So I actually have a tablet type controller and the seven inch screen sandwich in between that looked super flush. Now I designed this part in FreeCAD just so I could sandwich the screen and have uh, basically like a U-shaped layer behind it to have the PCB board sit behind the controller and the screen in front while still being able to like use the controller for anything else. Now this is not the final design. Uh, I do want to eventually remove the back plate. This is only a first concept that I'm dealing with. This way you can actually use any controller that is a tablet style or even something like this and be able to sandwich the PCB board and the screen and use it like a Steam Deck. Now the best concept would be to eventually remove the middle pillar and incorporate that into the build and then put the board in between there. This way it'll be a lot thinner because as of right now, it looks pretty thick and it is a little bulky in the back. You can't just sit it on the table or anything. Now, right now, I, again, I just put this together as a concept to see how it will work out. The case is not finished. I don't have anything enclosed and everything is basically exposed, which is not something I want. On top of that, it's not truly a Steam Deck if it's not portable because right now I don't have any battery attached to it and you do require your barrel connector just to power it. But I did purchase one of these uh, 12,000 milliamp batteries that should be able to power the device and make it portable. But again, it is already so bulky, the design that I have right now. If I don't remove the middle pillar for the controller, which is this thing I'm talking about right here, it's always gonna stay this bulky. Removing that 30 millimeter thickness, I could sandwich the board and throw in a battery and it'll probably be pretty close to how a Steam Deck would feel. But for now, it's actually still ultra portable. I'm able to play games. It's actually very comfortable in this design. Overall, this is not the best controller to use. This is just something on a budget build. I was able to pick this up for like $30 or so and it's a tablet style, not a regular uh, controller style. So it's actually much bigger and fits a tablet screen a lot better. But besides the point, you can always use one of these types of controllers to sandwich the screen and it'll work just as good. Now along the way, I did manage to pick up a speaker that's like this. This is a 3 watt 8 ohm speaker with a pigtail. And the board, the UE2 Board X1, actually has a connector for the speaker. So I was actually able to get audio working from this. All right, so here we go. This is Gunfire Reborn. Uh, I've showed this game on this system a few times already, but you can hear now the audio and it sounds pretty good. Let me get out of here. Because of where the speaker placement is, it's a little muffled, but again, at least I have audio. So you can see how it just plays out. It's so much fun on, on a deck like this. These types of games are so worth it just to get Steam Deck. If it's like a PC type game that's similar like Rogue type, it's really good. I'm just having a lot of fun just killing all these guys. And I'm just going in. And there you go. Such a fun game. I'm about to die right now. I'm not really paying attention, but you get the idea. It actually plays really well on this in this type of configuration. The screen is really bright. You get the audio coming from the bottom because of the speaker placement, which again, I could resolve later in the future on how to like sort that out. But ultimately it feels very comfortable um on a game like this while the cpu is around 80 you do hear the fan and the way the placement is you do feel a little bit of the heat on your fingertips again this is not the final build i will modify this around but this is generally the concept of what i want so overall it's coming together not finished yet but it is coming together a couple of things i am still missing 
is the extra keys to open up the side menus. So if you guys are familiar with Camera OS or know anything about hotkeys, is there a way that I could use a special key to open up those menus versus using a GPIO? Uh, I would rather prefer that, but I do have the GPIO programming in place. Like I'm looking into programming the GPIO pin. So if I do trigger something, it will just trigger the hotkey to open the menus. Ultimately right now, I am very fond of this device. Uh, the overall weight of this is 635 grams. So compared to a Steam Deck, which I have right over here, this is about 695 grams versus 635. But again, I still didn't add the battery on top, which will probably make it that high. Now, if I remove some plastic off the middle, it'll probably reduce the weight. And I think overall, by the time I'm done with it, it might be similar weight to the Steam Deck. But I could say that this screen is slightly bigger than the Steam Deck and the viewability is just the same, but instead of a 16 by 10 aspect ratio, this is a 16 by nine. And again, I was still able to play some games with this. So ultimately I like how this handles right now. Like I said, it's a little bulky in the back. It feels pretty good in the hand, but I do want to really redesign this. I am gonna keep this design up once I fine tune it a little bit and I'll post it somewhere probably on my Discord. So if you are planning to not destroy your controllers, you could still use this layout and build whatever you need. But I will eventually 3D scan these pieces and make the controller as one and see how that works out as well. All in all, this series is not finished. I still have a lot of things to do, but knowing that I've got this far with what I need is an improvement in itself. That is it. I did recently put a community post about naming this. Uh, and you guys came up with some great names. I like the Spirit Deck or the Nova Deck and there was some other stuff in there. I'm still contemplating on what I want to name this, but until it is more complete, I'm not going to put a name on it yet. It's still the DIY budget deck. I might drop the Steam word just because it's commercialized. So it might be just the DIY budget deck for now. And on my next video, once I complete more of the steps, I will be playing a lot more AAA titles just to test it out with the FSR and everything. For now, I was more concerned about 3D printing this, using FreeCAD and designing what, how I wanna fit everything. But yeah, on the next video, I'm gonna be testing more games on this with the chipset to see how it will play on this resolution with um, FSR and a bunch of other stuff. Anyway, if you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is gonna be out. And as I say my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.